us thus far. For his powers that have kept you. For your powers that have kept me alive. For your powers that have sustained me. This is the second month of the year. Can you say, tell the Lord that before the year goes too far, you want to see your signs. Lord, let something happen to me. A visitation that I can talk about. This is almost, this is the middle of the month. It's not almost. Today is the 15th. Lord, in the name of Jesus, give me a tangible sign that this life, this year, is a living year for me. It's a year with a difference. Can you ask God for that? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I want you to be seated for a moment. I know we are fasting. Today is our, the sixth day of the fast. Tomorrow is the last day. I hope many of you know that. The fast started on the 10th. Uh, some of you have been faithful. Some of you 50-50. Uh, but the fast started on the 10th. It's actually finishing tomorrow by 3 o'clock. When you break the final fast. Now I'm not sure the towers planned any prayer meeting for that day. Because they were not instructed to. But then it's a fast that is meant for you to search for God yourself. And find God. Now do you know the interesting thing. Because we are going to stand up again in a moment. Yesterday I got... Yes, yesterday morning, I woke up and I got a message by my WhatsApp. Let me say two, three things. So when we stand up, we will pray and close at once. So we don't drag this meeting too long. It's supposed to be a short meeting that will steer us into us the last day. So the last day can be more meaningful. How many of you know that sometimes the year runs very fast? Now, this year is a leap year. That means there are extra days in the year. If by, in the year when there are extra days, we are already in the middle of the second month, it tells you that year is going very fast. I don't know whether you understand that. Now, one of the signs that the year will normally be good is if your blessings start visiting you early enough in the year. That means if in the first quarter, God begins to show you signs that that year is a good year. Then you know that that year is going to be very rich. But if your blessings come slowly after, till after the second uh, quarter, that means till after June, mid-year, then things won't be as good as they should be. Now, I want you to stand up and tell God, God, I am entering into agreement with you that you make this first quarter a sign. That means by the end of March, I want to see my signs. Make it a sign between me and you in this fast. Give me my first fruit blessing. Break. Give me a sign that this year is a truly a blessing. It's a door year. You know, we told you that this year is a year of doors. Lord, give me a sign. In this fast, before tomorrow afternoon, unlock all the gates that have not been unlocked. And give me a sign that this year is a blessing. In the name of Jesus. Now, sit down. I don't know how many of you watched the National Prayer Altar like I normally advise you here to do. If you don't come to Abuja to join us in the National Prayer Altar in our tower in Abuja, you should watch it on television. But how many of you have watched it? Or how many of you were there? 
raise your hand if you are either there or you watched it already. Wow. Quite a number, some on from this side, almost none from this side, <laughs> except a few. But listen, for those of you who don't know, how many of you know what is a leap year? That is why you won't take this fast too seriously. Leap year is when spiritual gates open. And strange things begin to affect or contact the destiny of people. That means this year, somebody can change the glory that was meant for you and give it to somebody else. And then that which was not planned for you, that is supposed to be a blessing, can also find you this year. This year, your life can change easily. It's called a leap year. Leap year is when extra days or months are added to the normal calendar year. For example, what is the normal calendar year? 360 what? 65 days. But this year, the calendar year is what? 366 is not normal. That one day is a spirit day. And can I tell you another thing? That one day is normally added in February. Can I tell you another thing? When is our fast? February. That means we are fasting in the mystical month when your destiny is being decided. So the fast is not an ordinary fast. It's a deliberate fast to open a gate that will not have been opened for your life, make it open this month. And to shut a gate that will have taken advantage of you, to do you evil, to tell that gate shut down. And that is why if you have not taken this fast seriously, tomorrow, tomorrow, you will tell God to regain all the seven days you have not fasted. And say, God, I am entering when they are entering. And if you have not been fasting, use the weekend to redeem the other days you didn't fast. That means while others are stopping, continue. Because you did not do it. Because you didn't know the seriousness. But this February is going to decide whether something or somebody somewhere remembers you. Or whether you are forgotten. How many of you understand what I'm talking about now? You know, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. The reason why people don't obey sometimes is they don't understand why. They don't have an understanding. Now, can I tell you something also? The Gregorian calendar is a leap year. And the day of that leap year is this month. Interestingly, the Israeli calendar also is a leap year. They don't coincide like that. But this year, they are coinciding. And can I tell you something? The deciding month for the leap year, the Israeli blessing or curse, is also February. The one for the Gregorian calendar, Roman, Roman calendar, is February, which is 29th of February. The one month is this, the one day is added in the year, this month. That's why instead of 28 days, February is what? How many of us know February is 29 days this month? Very good. If you don't know, go and look at it. But that one day is a spirit day. It will be counted. But that one day is what opens the door for something to go wrong or go right. What do you want to happen for you? For things to go right or go wrong? That is why you must fast. The Bible says, is this not a fast that I have ordained? So I can undo the works of darkness. So you fast to undo the work of darkness. Jesus said, why will they fast when I'm with them? When I leave, they will need to fast. While I'm with them, I'm the Savior. I am God. I am there. I fill all the void. 
they don't need to fast. But when I leave, they have to fast. If they don't fast, they will be in trouble. So if you have not been fasting, better fast tomorrow. Tomorrow is the seventh day of the fast from the Hebrew calendar. And number seven is the number of God. Did you hear what I said? Tomorrow is the seventh, is the seventh day. So you better fast. Tomorrow, you better fast. That's all I can say. Now listen, for the Hebrew calendar, February is called the month of Ada. For the Hebrew calendar, it's one month that is given. But that month is meant to buy time for God to bring the Jews double joy. So one month in the Hebrew calendar is multiplied into two. The, the two months are bear the same name. So they are called Ada 1 and Ada 2. While in the Roman calendar, which is the calendar Nigeria is following, it's one day that is added. The Hebrew calendar is two months for good luck. Two months so that what you have lost the other years, one month can help you collect it back. Two months so that all the hidden blessings, your life can be rechanged and reordered. Go and listen to those tapes. Always listen to our talks in Abuja. Because some of the deep things I don't teach here, I teach there. And it gives the church complete. That means these two months, God can recollect back your life for you. So for the Jews, this month and next month, are the months when God is getting back their lives for them. Now, let me give you the shocker. I woke up, when I was doing the one in, in Jaws, the prayer meeting in Jaws, I didn't, I've been too busy, so I've not had time to look at things. But I got a shocker. That same day that the Jewish Adawan, the leap year, was being marked, that was opening the spirit realm, we found out that that same day was the day also that China was entering into its new year. So three calendars are working together on the same day. The Jewish calendar, the Gregorian calendar, and the, what they call the lunar calendar, which is the one the Chinese operate. Did you hear what I just said? Now, for those, well, many of you would understand. Let me not go and explain that, but let me go on to just finish it. The surprising part of that is not that their calendar is starting that day. But this year for the Chinese, in their calendar, they normally represent it with an animal spirit. And this year for the Chinese is the year of the dragon. Did you hear what I just said? Somebody said the year of the dragon. Meaning that Satan himself is deciding the destinies of people this year. Rayuang Mutane, the Aikis, the, the, the Abu Bwa, the Akamata is Ojesu. That means this year, the dragon himself is interested in this year to ensure that the church does not enter into its place of blessing. The dragon is also swimming in the deep. How many of you remember that one of the prayer terms we gave for these seven days is that God should cut off the heads? very good. When I gave that prayer item, I didn't know it was going to be a year of the dragons. Sincerely, I didn't know. When I wrote those prayer items, I didn't know it was going to be a year of the dragon for the Chinese. I mean that Satan will be going out from house to house, searching for whom to devour, whom to destroy, whom to dislocate. When somebody from the south, from Portacot, called me and drew my attention, said, sir, 
He said, Year of the dragon, I started the same day you told us to start the fast. Did you see it like that? I said, No. I didn't see that. I said, Yeah, I saw the double blessing that God was going to recollect back for Israel for the years they have lost. So, any year you lose a blessing and a day for the Jews and the Christians operate the Jewish calendar. Did you hear what I said? While God is collecting double blessing for us, Satan is trying to bring sadness to many people. Now, only you can decide which force pulls you. Which force decides your destiny? By your fast that says, Banyadaba, Gahanya de Nikeso. So even if you don't want to fast, and you have not been doing it because you say you are not uh, too spiritual. You do it for tomorrow. Or that somebody will use you to eat bread this year. And you will say there was no pastor who didn't tell you the spiritual meaning. Your blood is not on my head. I have told you what God has commanded me to tell you. Did you hear what I just said? So take seriously the cutting off of the head of the dragon. Take it seriously. Now, day before yesterday, early, no, yesterday, early in the morning, I got it from somebody. I don't know what happened to that person. He said the Holy Ghost told him. Some of you will notice that our 16 story building, the work is going on. Maybe you have not noticed because area is not on the ground. But it's going on because somebody woke up in December. That God disturbed the spirit. That he must redeem this year. Note the word. By a fat gift for that tower. And truly it was a fat gift. I wasn't expecting it. I talked to the person this morning. We prayed this morning. Because he sent me a text yesterday. Anybody who is sleeping beside you. Knock that person up. Because who won't be there to pray for you when they start, they start eating you up. Because even the Chinese are taking this seriously. And the person said that. And the person, I didn't bother because sometimes when they tell me that well, I'm going to put money into the account, they don't do it. So I didn't worry when the person said, I'm going to put, because say, whether he puts or he doesn't put, may damn the person put the money. I didn't know he had put it. Either November or December. The person put the money. December. I didn't know he had put it. He was the one again who called me. Have you seen the money? I said, oh, have you put it? He said, yes. I said, it's okay. God bless you. I didn't pray for him the kind of wicked prayer. <laughs> I normally pray for fat money, you know. Some people they get more anointing when the money is bigger. Eh? You'll be you are able to open your mouth. God bless your father's house, bless your grandfather, your great grandfather, plus their dead bodies, all of them. Let God bless all of them. There is a prayer you pray. Eh? The riches you have never seen, you will receive them. This year, gold and silver you will be your own. Even when you know he won't get gold this year, you still ask, you tell him that it's gold and silver that will be his own. It's because you are too happy with the gift. No matter I'll pray that prayer. I said, okay, I hear you. The Lord bless you. That was all I said. Then the person sent me his message the day before he said it. He said, all his houses that had been shut down in Britain, UK, since 2017, by the British government, the British government, took all his big big houses because of some of the crisis in Nigeria they thought he was a corrupt man and they shut it down they sealed it normally after some years after they have finished they will sell them off you lose them forever he said he got a letter that day before yesterday he sent me the letters that they have released the house he should come and collect his house I have it here on my phone I said, what? This is too early in the year for this kind of deep blessings. 
But I told you this year that is a year of deep. Not just the deep, but doors, mysterious doors. Doors that you cannot see that is in between the wall. And I read Ezekiel 8.8 8, that they will unlock mysteries that were hidden. And when I was telling them in Abuja, I told them that this year is when that door, is, this month, is when that door will begin to open the deep. I said this month. And this man got his houses just a three days, four days ago. But he got the letter. He has not even gone to collect it yet. Because he wasn't expecting it. He didn't pray for it. He didn't ask for it. They've locked it down since 2017. He had prayed 2017, 2018. Eh? And 2020, no answered prayer. He left it. He gave it up. Just when he's minding his business. But he had the God say, make a sacrifice. And make it there for that tower. To redeem. It was a redemptive sacrifice. This year. Now God has started redeeming. That which he had given up. Today I am decreeing. That that which you are no longer expecting. In your life. That can happen as a miracle. You got tired of expecting. Today. Let their gates break open for you. I repeat. Let their gates break open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Can you open your mouth and tell the Lord. Break open the gates of the deep for me. That quite early this year. This year. In this month of Ada 1 and Ada 2. February and March. Let something that heals my destiny, a blessing, a miracle, physical thing that heals my destiny, connected, let it happen to me. Let that door open. Break open the unseen gates, the doors. I was in shock yesterday when I sat on the ground, looked at my phone, and he sent me the letters to prove that the British government actually sent him to come and collect his property. I spoke to him for the first time this morning. Tell the Lord to break up. It is the money he gave that we are using to do that building for those of you who don't know. Right now. Tell the Lord to break up. That unseen door that connects to your life, that restores your life, that redeems your life, that, that changes your story. Tell God I connect to this miracle of this brother. Break my own open. So can you wanna water and the water mezwa? Thank you, Father. My faith is built on nothing else. Can you say, Jesus, my faith is built upon you. You and your sacrifice, the sacrifice of your blood on the ground. By the virtue of that blood that is shed for me, break open a door and bring me a blessing. Can you tell God just that? Lord, by the blood that was sacrificed for me, open a door, open a gate. Open a gate for me. Break open this gate. On Christ, Christ the, the Son, let us walk, I said, all on the ground. He seeks Can you give God your name and your address? My name is Emmanuel Nukuri. Lord, I live at Off Key DSS Room. In the name of Jesus, send me a messenger. That 
that redeems for me and gives me a gift in this first quarter before March is over break open the door as a sign for me for the rest of the year that the rest of the year will be good open up a door that is a key Hopefully, somebody made a sacrifice by faith tell God I have silver and gold I have done to give you but this fast I give it to you to break open the door for me I don't have the money this man might give and that man is still fasting but today by this fast I pour this fat at your feet and I'm asking you to break open if you are fasting tell God you hand over this fast as the key to unlock your own unlock my anointing unlock my grace unlock my power in the name of Jesus I want you to be seated for a moment because we will pray again like I said I still want us to close at either that three or quarter after three but by 3 30 we are all out here like we were told by 3 30 we are all out here because tomorrow is a final day so those of you who have not redeemed it redeem it and those of you who didn't start all the days and you have been faithful for one day use the weekend to add the rest but these are the most important doors Ubaingiji Achigin Iukonka Kashikachikin Ruwa Yenra Yuana Kakao Mani Wane Abu Me Ampani Deba Taba Ganiba Manju Wane Ache Amin Ba Ruwa Yenra Yuana Fa In other sifa na yeke, kabi sifa na. Kakaos mane the rayuans, the the damuan rayuana. Kabani haske the bentwa saniwa. Wana azumi ne kade ni kike de shiza iya i. Fara the ni when he zoom on cheat, so can you move? Ta wuri wana azumim. Kai medo man in the house can run you better. You need to start praying deep prayer because all of you have a life. Revelations twenty. Verse 13. That's the prayer, second prayer item. Then we'll pray the third one. And we close this with just three prayer items. We'll pray the first one. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And dead and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were what? Judged. I must mutua Aima konda bude ke de ke keshe rayua hukumchi. Loko chim hukumchi ubangi jine. And they were judge every man according to their works. If death has brought wickedness to your life, let death be judge. No matter where it stays. Let every work that has happened in your life, when if it is not good, let it be judge. In these few days, whatever has happened to you that is not right, God is going to capture it and judge it. And whatever has happened to you that is good, but it is not enough, God is going to capture it and make it enough. This is a year when God is connecting to works to change your life works to change your life can somebody tell him yesu tunadeni 
That means, oh Lord, remember me. That is the meaning of Jesus to not anyone and look at him. So this fast is meant to open the gate of the invisible and command help for you. That's what the fast is supposed to do. Can you rise up on your feet? Can you tell the Lord every dead that is every every dead thing that has been pursuing me, negative thing? Let the Lord judge them now. That during this fast, all negative things that have followed me, the Bible says the dead gave up and they were judged. Every negative thing that has been following you, command them to be judged. That's why I'm reading this scripture in Revelation 20 13. Every Every, every dead thing that has been following you. You touch anything, you don't seem to prosper. Tell God to kill them one by one. Judge them. Tell God to open the doors of his life for you. Where his spirit dwells. Let his spirit begin to connect with your spirit. And begin to unlock your spirit. Any mystery that is holding up something that belongs to you, command that thing to give it up. Anything holding anything, your blessing that is, let it give it up. Anybody who is doing any work that is undermining your life, let the Lord judge his works. It's a time when God is judging works. Lord, by this fast today, judge the works. Open a gate. Give me a blessing this quarter. Let me have a testimony while others are sharing. Within the week, within the days, give me a testimony. Within the month, give me a testimony. Within the year, give me a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Now, the last one, which is one of the scriptures, in the prayer items that were given you is Zechariah chapter 6 I don't know whether I wrote Zechariah 7 there I, I was checking my notes and I thought I saw it 7 somewhere but in Zechariah chapter 6 verses 1 to 4 that's the last prayer item and then we close this meeting it's shorter than you think but that is what it is because I have another meeting I'm going for very soon a few hours time at the stadium you want to join me there you go break your fast join me at the stadium at five o'clock with the baptist church and let's have a fellowship together 
but I'm going for another meeting at 5 o'clock at the Baptist Church being held by the Baptist Church at the new stadium close to my house there and join us there for the 5 o'clock 5.30 to 6.30 prayer fellowship with the Baptist Church Praise the Lord for His good and His mercies endure forever. To ask God to break every evil cloud over you, Father. Any evil cloud, wherever it's coming from, break it. My father, my faith is founded on you and on the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. Let the blood do something for me in this season. Let the blood do something for me in this season. Throughout tomorrow, begin to ask the Lord that the blood of Jesus, that sacrifice, will do something for you in this season. Do something for me in this season. <laughs> what does he say in Zechariah chapter 6 verse 1 listen even this year what I was in Lagos after I had written these prayer items the revelation of this scripture came back again to me there is something about this scripture that is going to change this year and he says I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and behold there came outward and this is a year of number four 2024 5784 is number four is a year of number four he said I turned and I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold there came four chariots out from between two mountains and the mountains were mountains of what now let me tell you something it is believed that the temples either the temple in heaven or the old temples in Jerusalem in the wilderness when Moses was traveling the New Testament temples particularly the ones in the when Moses was traveling the tent of meeting he created that the the, the post the, the, the something on the ground the foundations the all around it was made of brass the legs of everything there was painted with brass 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 did you hear what i just said brass those of you who have traveled with me to israel and we went to Ella together and we went to solomon's mines together and we saw the old temple that was used in the wilderness as a tent you will notice that the floor part was brass. 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 Meaning that these two angels were coming down. I mean these four chariots were coming down from the two mountains. Altars of God in heaven. Two tabernacles of God. And listen. The translation I have there I just went back to look at it. The, the Jewish translation. They said the work of this was to bring peace to God's heart concerning his creation. Everybody has created. That means their business is to war for you in order to bring you peace so that God will be happy with himself for what he has done in your life. Otherwise, each time you are restless, God is restless. God is not happy when you are not happy. Did you hear what I just said? God is not happy when you are not happy. Every one of you must know that one. God is not happy when I'm not happy. And it's the work of these four chariots to go in, find what is worrying you, 
whatever is in the child, the spirit of those children, we deal with the spirits of what is worrying you or the circumstances. Chariots. Chariots. Can you say today, in the name of Jesus, Father, release your chariots into my waters to find whatever can make me happy and release them to make me happy. Find whatever is worrying me and cut them off. I enter into covenant by this fast that you will use the instrument of this fast to release your four chariots to discover my foundations and release my sweetness and release my blessing and release my visitation. Open your mouth and pray that prayer for yourself. My strength for today, Father, draw me nearer, draw me nearer, nearer. My strength for today, my strength for today, my strength for today. He is your strength for today. Obanji ji kai na ikon kade ikon rayuwa na ka jao ni gare ka yau. Ka seke de rayuwa na yau. Draw me nearer and release me. Draw me nearer and shake up the ground around me. Draw me nearer and scatter all these things that make me feel depressed. The Lord tells me that there are a few of you that are going through depression recently. And the Lord said you need to pray this prayer. Destroy these things that are making me feel depressed. That are oppressing my spirit. All these fears. If you are the God in heaven, break this yoke for me. My strength for today, Father, draw me nearer. Oh, draw me nearer. scripture. He says again, I'm reading from this, this other Bible. I raised my eyes and I saw in front of me four chariots coming out from between two mountains and the mountains were mountains of bronze. The first chariot had red horses. The second chariot black horses. The third chariot white horses and the fourth chariot spotted gray horses. I asked the angel speaking with me what are these my lord the angel said or answered me these are the four winds of the sky that go out after presenting themselves before the lord of all the land four winds that go out after presenting themselves to my father the one with the black horse is going out towards the land in the north can you say heavenly father I am living in the land in the north 
let the angel that is meant to set the people in the land of the north free I invite him to my house and to my life today to settle my own matters and bring you peace by bringing me peace in the name of Jesus can you ask that the angel of the four wind the four wind the wind that is sent to the north can he visit your house we live in the north whether it is not western not central not anything you call it it's still the north Can you tell the Lord? In the heavens there is no middle belt. In the heavens is either north or south. We live in the north. Can you ask the Lord? Let the angels that are coming to the north go to warn your back. Be specific. The ones that come to the north. The winds that come to the north. They are called winds. The Bible says there were four winds. Four. There was the wind that came to the north along with the horses with them. Can we ask that the winds that came out from the presence of the Lord that came to the north let them go to war with my situation. Let them go to war in my life. Let them create a new spirit, a new environment, a new glory for me. Let them reclaim my life. Let them reclaim my destiny. Let them reclaim my destiny. I live in the north. So I'm being specific. Those in the south will claim the south wind. Uh, those in the whatever will claim their own. But we live in the north. Whether you are a northerner or not a northerner. You are situated in the north now. Can the spirit of the Lord. Fight for your inheritance for you. And release your inheritance. And redeem them. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high Jehovah. You are the most high Jehovah Jireh. You are the most high Jehovah. You are the most high God.
this brief meeting. Let the spirit of this meeting follow you and sort out your matters for you. That tomorrow your prayer will be meaningful. You will take these prayer items you prayed today. You will repeat them tomorrow. You will think over them tonight. I repeat. As you break your fast this afternoon. Let the four winds cling to you. Let the spirit particularly that is sent to the north. Begin to search out your own portion for you. Therefore today. While you are yet in this meeting. Anything that is a strange attachment to your life. Because I am leading the meeting this afternoon. Let that attachment be broken. Anything that is haunting you that should not be haunting you. I rebuke that hunter now. Receive your miracle for this fast in Jesus name. Your life will not be tormented. Therefore today also the gates shall, that should be opened to you for 2024. By our standing and communion together here. Let that gate open in Jesus' name. Your life will not see affliction. Nobody will steal your glory from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you tell the Lord I receive the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And the winds of the Spirit now. I receive the ministry of the wind of the Spirit of the north. That is come to the north. From the presence of the Lord. You read those scriptures and pray for the one that concerns you. Don't pray for that of the south. That of the south will not come to you in the north. There is a spirit of God in the north that is blessing those who dwell in the north. Sometimes we separate them. You need to separate them today. Let them carry you where you are in your family and visit you. Extend this prayer to tomorrow and invite that wind from the presence of the Lord. According to the scripture that I read. And let him visit with you. If you have any, you had any headache. Let that headache disappear. Hey. You have a problem in your tummy. That marine spirits. Mami water spirits have put there. I destroy the power of that mami water power. Yeah. And I release you from that infirmity and affliction in your stomach. Yeah. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. You have weak bones and the bones are beginning to affect you. I command that this life, give, this year gives you back your life. Let that angel of the four wind touch you. Touch you. Touch you. Touch you. You have not had food to eat. This weekend you, have, you will have more than abundance to eat. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I command the supply door to open for you. You will not beg for bread. You will not beg for money. You will not be humiliated. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. My father dig a well and open up a gate for the people. That they may drink. And that they may enjoy your presence. We receive this with thanksgiving. Can you begin to bless the Lord today? Just thank God. And ask him for protection for the rest of the year protect me cast your garment upon me and keep me alive and keep my blessings open for the rest of the year i thank you father in jesus name we pray and the people of the lord will say amen may the lord give you grace for tomorrow to finish even better than today so go and search out the scriptures and deeper things from this and prepare to use them tomorrow. Tomorrow if you can. If you can. Don't pray for less than two to four hours. For yourself. Tomorrow is the final day. Non-stop. Just take your time. If you like, start with a song. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord. Oh, it's like unto thee. Yeah. Among, Among the gods. Oh, it's like thee. Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. Oh, do we wonder? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And I let this glory cloud go with your children. Let the miracles remain their own forever. Thank you for the testimonies that will come from this fast. We give you glory and praise. Thank you for all those who are fasting all over the world. Let great grace speak for them today. Give them strength for tomorrow. In Jesus name we pray. And the people say amen. The people say amen. Start advertising the program for next week. Start calling everybody everywhere. All over Southern Kaduna. Because we are going to really conclude this fast there. When I say conclude, we are not fasting that day. But that night, we will celebrate this meeting. How many of you say amen to that? So gather everybody. We are, we are making the people who operate the buses enter into arrangement with them. They will go around, bring as many as they can bring. And then let's, whoever is leading anything there, it must be a day of dancing, rejoicing. When you, when you rise up, prophesy to the people. Speak grace. Because that is what God is talking about. Great grace. Just proclaim it over them. Great grace. Because this fast is going to put us on top, not beneath. Amen. And it's going to make everything else be subject to the government of God under us. The peace of the Lord go with you now. And tomorrow, make it a date with God. And if you have to redeem it by one or two days, go ahead and redeem the days by one or two days. The Lord bless you.